After months of waiting, we finally found out what Ilya from OpenAI is doing now. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief. One of the most followed sub-stories in artificial intelligence has been the destiny of Ilya Sutskever. Ilya was, of course, one of the founders of OpenAI as well as its chief scientist and had a very strange role in the Sam Altman ouster last year. As one of the board members, Ilya was initially involved in kicking Sam off, but then part of the way through the whole dust-up, he switched teams, which in many ways sealed Sam's coming back. However, Ilya's future at the company was very unclear. For months, it was one of the main questions that Sam Altman got asked. What was Ilya doing? On Twitter, there were memes asking what Ilya saw and where Ilya was. Altman, for his part, kept saying that he hoped that he was able to continue working with Ilya. However, in May, almost exactly six months after the whole thing happened, Ilya announced finally that yes, he was in fact leaving OpenAI. This led to many people thinking that perhaps there was some deal cut where Ilya agreed to stay on, or at least not quit, for some consolidation six-month type period, but maybe he was always planning to go do something else. Well, now we have learned what that something else is. Ilya yesterday tweeted, I am starting a new company. We will pursue safe superintelligence in a straight shot, with one focus, one goal, and one product. We will do it through revolutionary breakthroughs produced by a small cracked team. The company is called Safe Superintelligence, Inc., SSI. The announcement post on Twitter slash X reads, Superintelligence is within reach. Building Safe Superintelligence, SSI, is the most important technical problem of our time. We've started the world's first straight shot SSI lab with one goal and one product, a safe superintelligence. SSI is our mission, our name, and our entire product roadmap, because it is our sole focus. Our team, investors, and business model are all aligned to achieve SSI. We approach safety and capabilities in tandem as technical problems to be solved through revolutionary engineering and scientific breakthroughs. We plan to advance capabilities as fast as possible while making sure our safety always remains ahead. This way we can scale in peace. Our singular focus means no distraction by management overhead or product cycles, and our business model means safety, security, and progress are all insulated from short-term commercial pressures. We are an American company with offices in Palo Alto and Tel Aviv, where we have deep roots in the ability to recruit top technical talent. We are assembling a lean, crack team of the world's best engineers and researchers dedicated to focusing on SSI and nothing else. If that's you, we offer an opportunity to do your life's work and help solve the most important technical challenge of our age. Now is the time. Join us. Now, the other folks joining Ilya included Daniel Levy, who tweeted, Beyond excited to be starting this company with Ilya and DG. I can't imagine working on anything else at this point in human history. If you feel the same and want to work in a small, cracked, high-trust team that will produce miracles, please reach out. Serial entrepreneur and prolific AI investor Daniel Gross tweeted, It is a great pleasure and honor to co-found this new endeavor. Alongside the X.com announcement, Ilya also spoke with Ashley Vance at Bloomberg. What did we learn from that interview? Well, to some extent, it was just a repeat of what we'd heard, and there was still a lot of caginess. Ilya reiterated that he was trying to shape this company in a totally different way. He said this company is special in that its first product will be safe super intelligence, and it will not do anything else up until then. It will be fully insulated from the outside pressures of having to deal with a large and complicated product and having to be stuck in a competitive rat race. What we didn't learn is anything about who was backing the company, how much had been raised, or even more technical things like how Ilya is currently thinking about AI safety. He did take a chance to shoot at OpenAI, saying by safe, we mean safe like nuclear safety as opposed to safe as in trust and safety. Nate Chan pointed out that one of OpenAI's principles was be a pioneer in trust and safety. So what has the commentary been? One theme is that this definitely creates competitive pressure with OpenAI, at least in terms of people. Didi from Menlo Ventures writes, OpenAI is about to lose a lot of talent. Theo Jaffe writes, the year is 2021. A group of OpenAI employees are worried about the company's lack of focus on safe AGI and leave to start their own lab. The year is 2023. An OpenAI co-founder is worried about the company's lack of focus on safe AGI, so he starts his own lab. The year is 2024, dot dot dot. Another common response was sheer excitement. May at Multiply Matrix writes, No one on the planet has contributed more to AGI than Ilya Sutskever. He triggered two of AGI's acceleration events. He proved to the world we could use GPUs to train state-of-the-art models, bringing a beacon of hope to the field of AI which was withering in an AI winter. Second, Ilya supported Alec Radford's scaling of GPT as an early believer in Ash Vaswani's Transformer. May continues, Today most thinking is done by humans, but soon most thinking will be done by machines. Over the next few years, humans will build powerful machines that can reason and act. The chatbots we use today are nothing compared to the superintelligence we are about to train. Superintelligence will very soon win gold medals in the Math Olympiad, they will make fundamental discoveries in math and science, and they will act agentically in our multimodal world over long horizons. We're at the steepest inflection point in the history of compute. 
We're racing to bring trillion-dollar clusters online to train billions of recursively self-improving superintelligent agents. We will arrive at a takeoff point. The singular mission that Ilya has dedicated his life to, safe superintelligence, is the most important challenge in our lifetimes. And most importantly of all, Ilya is a deeply kind and compassionate human being who is building superintelligences that can behave kindly and compassionately to human beings. Victor Talon writes, No users, no revenue, no business. One shot, one goal, one product. Research a technology and change the world. Ilya is a legend beyond our times. Still, if many people were excited about that focus, there was also some amount of skepticism. Matt Wolf writes, I'm excited to see what they do, but also curious about the sustainability of it. Will investors dump millions or billions into a company to build data centers and giant GPU clusters knowing there's no revenue generation on the other side? Will this new company leverage other companies' GPU clusters? And if so, how can they be sure it's as safe as possible while playing in someone else's playground? So many questions that I'm sure we'll learn more about soon. Shaquille writes, You probably need north of $100 billion for a cluster capable of training superintelligence if such a thing is even possible. That's not including salaries, etc. With a business model that says no products until then, where on earth is that money going to come from? Perhaps a little bit more cynically, Daniel Jeffries writes, The first question I'd ask a superintelligence if I had such a thing is this riddle. How do I build ASI with no revenue and no product plans? Professor Ethan Malik writes, How do you price an option on superintelligence or value a company trying to do everyone's job forever? Wild times. And yes, if you think superintelligence is impossible, the value is zero. But the people investing obviously view this as possible, so... And I think this actually gets a little bit closer to the nut of this. Ultimately, this is an incredibly binary bet. The reason that an investor would be willing to make this bet is basically that they believe that literally whatever it costs to get there, the value on the other side of this creation is so enormous that it justifies it. They probably buy the argument that in fact, worrying about revenue in the short term is a net distraction. To Ethan's point, many investors would think that is crazy, but for the ones who don't, it sort of makes a type of sense. There's also a bit of skepticism about the capacity to actually achieve this. Pedro Domingos writes, Ilya Sutskever's new company is guaranteed to succeed because superintelligence that is never achieved is guaranteed to be safe. Zestular writes, call me crazy, but now we have OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, Meta, Mistral, and now SSI all taking in billions of dollars and hiring the smartest people in the world. And they're all building more or less the same thing, scaling up transformers? How does this end? Well, one way that people noted that it would end was with NVIDIA getting even richer. For now, it is all speculation. What's undeniable is that Ilya's project represents a new force in this space that will be taken seriously and that cannot be ignored. I will, of course, keep you guys informed as we learn about what they're doing, although I don't anticipate us hearing all that much very often. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief. Welcome back, Ilya. And until next time, peace.